All right, guys. So let's head on to our second topic of the conversa conversation today, and that is Kamar Usman heading to the middle middle division, and the possibility of him becoming the uh, UFC next uh, champ champ. So this is my quick thought on that. Number one, Kamar Usman he did mention that he will not he will not move to the middleweight division. As long as Israel Adesanya is, it's as long as Israel is their champion, and the reason behind that is that he would prefer to have three African to be a UFC UFC heavyweight champion instead of one, which that would be him. And if he would have moved up, he would have to challenge for the title, and the current champion right now at the UFC middleweight is some Israel Adesanya. And he has no desire to compete against some Israel. And also, he's looking forward to to March. He did previously mention that he would like to see two African holding a UFC heavyweight title. Oh, sorry, holding a UFC title, including the UFC heavyweight title, which um, Francis Ngannou is taking on Stipe, and also, and also. Israel Adesanya taking on Jan Bolhovic for um for his for Adesanya um, champ champ status. But however, what if? What if? Okay, this is a big if. Um, Adesanya beat Jan Bolhovic. If you guys have not, if you guys have not seen my previous video, my previous video from yesterday, I did pick Jan Bolhovic to win the fight. Let's say Israel Adesanya beats him, and after that, he chooses to relinquish the UFC middleweight title to jump the queue, to jump the line uh, in UFC heavyweight division. And I could 100% see that happening. It's just the fact that Adesanya would would love to take away would ha would love to take away the possibility of. John Jones being um, a two division two division champion, and also on top of that, could you guys just imagine if Adesanya jumped the queue and compete versus the winner of Stipe versus um Nagano and wins and win his third title? John Jones has got nowhere else to go. John Jones has been well, he has not been happy with. With the pay that he's been receiving from the UFC and from Dana White and essentially from his boss. And if Izzy went in there and captured their UFC heavy title, John Jones gotta fight him. John Jones would essentially have to fight. Well, he doesn't have to, but ideally he would. Because at the end of the day, that will bring in a lot of eyeballs, it will be a lot of pay per view sales. And I'm pretty sure, I am pretty confident that. John Jones, he is one of those fighters that he doesn't need to be the UFC champion to get a cut of the pay-per-view. So yeah, so that would be big. And if that happened, I'm fairly certain that the UFC would ask um, Adesanya to give up one of the two previous, previous titles that, that he would have already won. And that would be the middleweight title and the light heavyweight title and i guess i get 100 percent seeing that um at a sense giving up the the middleweight title and if that's the case that is when i believe kumar usman will choose to decide to move up to um to the middleweight d division because as right now you guys there's not there's no one there's no one in the welterweight division that kumaru has not beat and if you've seen my previous video from yesterday I think highly of Kamaru. I believe that he is head and shoulder above the rest of the competition. In the top five, we got Colby Covington, um, which he beat. We got uh, Gilbert Burns, which he beat. And I can't. Who else is in top five? I can't think right now. Um, Hori Ma Masvidal. 
I believe he's still ranked number six. Just let me double check here. Can look out quick at the um, Kamaru stats. Yeah, he beat Jorge and Tyron Woodley. I don't think he's um no longer top five, but yeah, he in my mind, like I said, in my mind, he believe I believe that he beats everyone and any and anyone in that division. There's just there's no competition in in World Trade from right now. There's there's still fun fun fights. I mean, I would love to see like I mentioned this before. I would love to see him compete against versus Jorge. That might be competitive. It's just the fact that within the first fight, I realized that Jorge's got, I believe, like two weeks, ten days, ten days notice for a short, a short, a short notice fight, and of course, we all know what happened there. And I believe that during his run as the champ right now, he's got three t title defense. It was Jorge, Colby, and Gilbert at UFC 258. All of those three title defense. Jorge was the only person that he did not finish. He finished Kobe Covington in round 5 and finished um, Gilbert Burns in round 3. So I believe that the second fight, Kamaru versus Jorge, I believe that it is going to be more competitive. But uh, however, I don't see Jorge beating um, Kamaru. Not at this time. It's just the fact that he have leveled up. He's been looking very good. And he's just been destroying everybody. Everybody that the UFC has put in front of him, Kamaru, Kamaru has, has beat. And also, as of right now, he is putting on an injury list after his fight from UFC 258 uh, last weekend. He is on a six-month uh, no-contact no suspension, which, yeah, come on, man. Like, six months for that? I don't see that happening. Because if the UFC will come, will come back to him, it's like, hey, we got a fight for you within the next um, three four months he would take it after his um well-deserved rest well-deserved break from his previous fight versus uh gilbert burns which um in round one i thought Gil gilbert looks really good and then um round two the tie has turned and i believe that Gil gilbert kind of wore himself out like fatigue set in early and kamaru took over and the rest, it's history. The rest is history, and he ended up finishing um, Gilbert Burns in round three. I think it's like 45 seconds into the round. So, yeah. So the possibility of Kamaru being um, a champ champ, I said I believe that it could be a possibility, but not as long as um, Arsenia is in the UFC. In, as long as Adesanya is in the UFC middleweight, he said that he won't move up. But you know what? You never know if the price is right. Because these guys are, at the end of the day, they are prize fighter. If the price is right, <laughs> I think he'll do it. If the price is right, I think he'll do it. And I think it's going to be um, a very com competitive. And Kum Kumar Usman, he's one of those guys that I do not. I do not want him. Um, I do not want to see him have a a tuna fight or any kind of fight besides for the UFC um, middleweight title. If he choose to move up to um, to the middleweight, essentially, and look at the guy, he's a freaking freak of nature, and it seems like he put on um, a bit of mass as well. So like, he's just. The guy's solid. I don't know what he what his walk around weight is to cut down to one seventy, but look look at the guy. He's he's freaking jacked, and for him to make one eighty five, a hundred percent he can make it. A hundred percent he can make that weight. So yeah, I w like I said, I would like to see him compete, but also. But also, I would like to see him fight against um, Jorge as well, and coach uh, the Ultimate Fighter 29. I think that would be um, extremely entertaining because I believe that these guys are characters. They are playing characters. I'm sure that they're nice guys, but at the end of the day, they are prize fighter, as I pre 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 previously mentioned, and they will 
they will entertain us. Anyone says, I mean, I'm the fan. They will entertain us as, as a fan, and I am looking forward to it. I don't know what's going to happen. Look at that picture. He just destroyed, destroyed Tyron Woodley and Kobe Covington. Like, like, holy smokes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. So that is um, my quick thought on the possibility of Kamar Usman moving up to become the UFC next champ champ and get that status so hopefully it does happen I don't know what's going to happen with the middle, middle division let's say if um, Izzy comes back down and he lose to let's say um, Apollo Costa in a rematch or if he lose to Robert Whittaker in a rematch that is a possibility like Jan, Bo Jan could just beat the brakes off him and like scars him for life or he or um, is he decided to move up to um, heavyweight division, as I pre pre previously mentioned as well. I could 100% see seeing him um, relinquish the middleweight, because then the cut would be a lot easier from heavyweight to light heavyweight. Because well, division, weight division, and yeah, I would like to and previously. Is he, ha is he did mention that he has competed at as high as a, as heavyweight. There's a chance that might happen. So yeah. Okay, so I am going to stop that there for our second topic of the conversation. Um, I am looking, looking forward to the fight. Like any fight for Kamaru, any fight for Izzy. And if you guys think I am being a hater, I, I am not. I'm just being a realist. And the realist in, in me is that I think Jan Popovich is going to beat him Izzy and when Izzy comes back down he will lose his next fight regardless of who, who it, 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 may, it may be against and if that happened which I believe that it will because I just said it um, there is a possibility of Kamaru Usman moving up now I'm just rambling <laughs> and him being the next time champ champ 100% 100% so, well, 99.99%, nothing is 100%. Okay.